Hi guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to Matt Chat. This is episode number five, covering another of the greatest games of all time. In my opinion, perhaps the greatest game of all time, Elite. Uh, Elite is a game that was first published in 1984 in uh, Britain for the uh, British line of computers, the uh, BBC Micro and the Acorn line. Uh, not computer platforms uh, most Americans are familiar with. We had to wait and for a whole year uh, for Fiber to finally port this game uh, to the Commodore 64 and uh, the Atari computers, a whole plethora of uh, ports uh, that arrived in 1985. So finally, uh, Yankees like me could enjoy this game that uh, was receiving so much attention overseas. If you've never heard of Elite or uh, never played the original version, uh, you may still recognize the gameplay. It was widely imitated and shows up in games ranging from um, Origins, Wing Commander, Privateer, uh, just to name one. There's also a, a proper uh, Elite sequels called the Frontier series that were published for a variety of platforms. Um, I see a lot of, uh, you know, pretty much any uh, space simulation game you want to talk about, EVE Online, is, a, is actually the uh, massively multiplayer online version of this uh, concept. Um, all of this originates in 1984 with David Braben and Ian Bell with their classic game, Elite. Uh, Elite itself isn't entirely original. It's more or less uh, an amalgamation of some earlier games and uh, gameplay concepts. Uh, the uh, strategic trading ec economical aspects uh, show up in games like uh, Omnitrend's Universe and Empire. Um, you know, so go pretty far back, all, almost to the uh, dawn of uh, home computers. And the action uh, 3D space flight simulations, of course, uh, bar some of those concepts are borrowed from the uh, flight simulators um, and also the uh, classic Atari game uh, Star Raiders, uh, which some of you uh, may be familiar with. Uh, I think the, uh, the brilliance of Elite was to combine these two. So you get the, uh, the uh, strategy, the uh, space, the uh, merchant, um, uh, trading economic uh, stuff from those games like Universe and combine with the action of a game like Star Raiders and you really have a intoxicating combination. Uh, before we get started today, just a, a quick heads up, I want to send a shout out to my friend uh, Rowdy Rob from Armchair Arcade. Rob's a, he's a great guy. He's always posting what he thinks about all of our projects uh, from uh, Bill and Judas and I. Uh, from our blog post to uh, these YouTube videos to what he thinks about our books and articles and chapters on Gama Sutra. Uh, by the way, if you are, for whatever reason, um, on the fence about whether to buy our books, um, I would suggest going to Gama Sutra and uh, looking for uh, myself, Matt Barton, and Bill LeJudas. We have some bonus chapters up, uh, book uh, chapters that um, are not in the print book, they're web only. Uh, so, but anyway, they, they, if you like the web chapters, you, should, you shouldn't uh, hesitate to buy the book because it's uh, uh, the same type of content, same level of quality, and so on. Uh, okay, so enough of my uh, book pimping uh, for this, uh, <laughs> this week's episode. Uh, let's get into Elite. Very few games have had the lifelong impact that Elite has had on me. I first came to this game as a maybe a 9 or a 10 year old and fell in love with it almost immediately. I learned how to play it. It's a very complicated and difficult game. This is definitely not a game that is <laughs> easy to learn um, and it is hard to master. In fact, I think that's part of its appeal is that only truly elite players will ever rise to the highest ranks of this game. 
your mission in this game, if it can be called such, is to acquire wealth and reputation. And there's a number of ways to do, to, uh, to do that. Uh, probably the safest way to begin with, since you start with such a uh, humble ship with very little equipment, is to tr trade between planets. Um, and there are... <laughs> God only knows how many planets and systems in this game. But um, basically what you're looking at is industrial planets, agricultural planets, and uh, the type of government they have, how many, basically how many uh, pirates are you going to have to fight uh, to uh, get to that planet. Uh, so you see here I'm buying some uh, cargo and checking out some of the local planets in the system. These are developed on it with an algorithm, so that's why the un uh, this universe seems so incredibly expansive. Once I've picked out a planet I want to trade with and, and fueled up my ship, I need to leave the station and enter hyperspace. Uh, one of the another very neat sequence. The way this game works is you instantly uh, hyperspace or teleport fairly close to the planet, but you still have a pretty good distance between you and that planet. Um, the game will let you skip a bit yeah, if you press the J. You can jump a little bit. Uh, but only if there's no asteroids or other ships in the vicinity. And I've gotten... There's either something close by. Um, that's what that uh, little alarm sound is. So I have to keep my eyes peeled as I approach this planet. Once you get close enough to the planet, this S will appear in the lower right, indicating there's a station. Then you should head towards the station and attempt to dock. Now, uh, the mo one of the most challenging parts of this game for beginners is the docking sequence. Uh, the idea is to head towards the station, spin, spin around, head towards the planet, because the uh, space station's entry port is always facing the planet, and then uh, turn around and dock. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> difficult process even for uh, people who've been doing this for a while. Now, fortunately, pretty early in the game you can afford to buy a docking computer, uh, which you see here. Uh, it automates this process. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it <laughs> crashes you into the station or the planet, but it saves a lot of time and is uh, definitely what I would recommend purchasing first. After that, you'll probably want to start thinking about weaponry for your ship, or maybe better shields, because you are always under the threat of pirate attack. And indeed, another way to play this game is uh, as a mercenary. Every time you kill a pirate, you get uh, some credits for the bounty, and you might also become a pirate yourself, blowing up uh, ships and collecting the cargo. Once you buy a fuel scoop, you can head towards these uh, little cargoes that pop out of a ship and pick them up. And sometimes these can be very valuable. Uh, let's see what this one is. Um, as you can see, the control of this game is fairly difficult. You, uh, your ship will roll to the left or right, and then you can uh, fire rockets to <laughs> basically go uh, up and down. It's not an intuitive process. It's different from a uh, regular flight simulator. And it is uh, another reason why this game is uh, not very accessible to beginners. Of course, once you get better at the controls, you can purposely fly to these more dangerous sectors and kill pirates for the bounties and for the cargo, or, or just to improve your rating. You begin the game with a harmless rating, <laughs> and this becomes mostly harmless. In case you aren't catching the references here, this is these are from uh, Douglas Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide. Uh, where it seems a lot of the humor of this game originates. Of course, the ultimate goal is to become the vaunted elite, the highest rank. Uh, to getting there will require killing lots and lots of very dangerous pirates, as well as uh, alien invaders. Of course, like a role-playing game, this task is much easier if you have the upgraded lasers and um, other equipment. You can get a system that destroys missiles. You can buy en extra energy units uh, for your shields. Uh, there's all kinds of ways to improve your ship. And it's very important if you ever <laughs> hope to acquire the elite status. Of course, acquiring the new equipment and trying it out is one of the main appeals of the game. So there you have it, folks. A <laughs> tragically quick run-through of one of the greatest games of all time. I hope you'll take some time to learn more about this game on your own. Until next week!
That's all for Matt Chat.